you're just a great group of young people with this collective brilliance. Uh, it makes sense that your your name of your nonprofit is Linking for Brilliance. How are you going to support your mentors and make sure you're recruiting mentors that um, that are able to help on the great level that, that your mentees will need? Our mentors are specialized in a range of subjects. And to be able to really hone in on that spe specialization, they will take an array of tests or little quizzes to make sure that they are uh, experts in that level. And knowing that math is a big section that many students have weakness on, we make sure that mentors are comfortable in also tutoring and mentoring students who do have that weakness. Could I just ask about the mentee side then? What's required for them? Do they have to come after school? Is this in school hours? Do you anticipate uh, a high success rate in, in capturing mentees or do you think there'll be some resistance to it? Middle school students, when they come after school, they just want to rest. They want to play games. They want to go about their day after school. So that is why we chose a Saturday to host these workshops. And students want to succeed higher. So our resistance isn't high because students, they want to meet other students and improve in their subjects of weakness. What incentives um, do you have in place to um, keep young people engaged and participating in your program? We developed something called Brilliant Student of the Month, which encourage students to reach their goals and to improve in their academics so that they can re receive like a gift or a prize. And usually that incentive for middle schoolers are a big thing to bring students into the program and also to excite the middle schoolers so that they are willing to learn more.